Cheers, mate. <laughs>
too I'll give, well. I mean, give a third round taste before I give my final opinion on it being cold. Fair enough. Yeah, I see where you're coming from. It tastes like a very watered down black and tan beer. And what comes to mind immediately is Yingling. It tastes very similar to it, but it's it is a little watered down, not as carbonated as most beers are. It's almost like you're drinking. Um, like a, a spiked water. <sighs> the best way to describe it is that. Just, you know, with car- a little bit of carbonation. Yeah. It's, uh... Yeah. It, <laughs> I, I don't know if I could probably drink the whole thing. Like, if I just had this on my own. Yeah. And I probably would drink it. You know, if I bought it, I obviously would drink or eat whatever I bought. Because then it'd be like, that's a waste of money. But at the same time, this thing's, I don't know, kind of a downer in my opinion. Um, and that's it being ice cold. I'm not looking forward to it being hot. As I say, once it's warmed up, I'm not sure how it's going to be, but I don't see it improving from here. Yeah, so. I definitely agree with that. I don't see much improvement coming our way when we let it sit out in the Florida heat. Um, other than that, like I said before, it, it's very just a watered-down black and tan porter pilter or whatever you want to call it since it's both. Yeah. <laughs> it says it's both. So well, that's what man. black and tan is, my friend. Yes, <laughs> yes. So uh, let's go ahead and sit these bad boys outside. Uh, come back, and you guys will see the upon further review segment. All right, upon further review. All right, welcome back. We let this uh, Mississippi mud black and tan sit out in the Florida sun for a good solid thirty minutes, and we're a uh, we're about to suffer, aren't we? How warm is your glass? My warm glass is freaking hot. Okay, oh. sometimes it hurts to touch it. Yeah, we had it on top of a cooler to make it look nice outside, but um, it got a little too much heat. Yeah, right after I got the time lapse video, because um, I usually get about five minutes worth of that, uh, we let it sit out there for another 25 and the sun came out, so yeah. yeah. Well. Um, upon further review, mate. Upon further review. <coughs> God bless it. Okay. So, uh. After I just wanted to puke my guts out, now I'm crying. My eyes just watered, <laughs> too. That was. Oh, good God. Um. So, uh. Heath, in one word, describe this beer. No. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, yes, you like it? No, no, God, no. <laughs> yeah, um, guys, this is awful. This is absolutely <laughs> awful. Um, Do not drink this warm. It's like the malt got kind of skunky in a way. Um, it's not as bland now. There's a lot of different weird flavors going on, and I don't like it. Uh, yeah. The alcohol seeped through, of course, and it's a lot stronger than what it was as usual. This whole thing is just a no. Uh, no go. Um, like I said, when it was ice cold, it's kind of eh, but the bottle is pretty cool. Um, I mean, it was, what, four bucks? Yeah, four dollars at any ABC li- liquors. Not sponsored. Not sponsored. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, overall bottle caps for this beer, for design, for cold, hot? Okay, design, I give it a 10 out of 10 bottle caps. I mean, it is a old-fashioned moonshine bottle. I can respect you, that. You can't, you can't go wrong with that. It's something that you can go, okay, after I suffered through it, I can put this up on the wall and it looked cool. Or even fill it up with other stuff. Yeah, fill it up with a, fill it up with better. Okay, so when it was cold? Cold, I give it about a 5. It's just, you know, bland. It wasn't really, nothing really popped out for me. Yeah. Um, it didn't really have that, you know, grass. It just tasted like a watered-down beer. And warm. Upon warm, review. zero out of ten bottle caps. <laughs> I wanted to puke my guts out after taking only one sip of it. it it's so alcohol-forward and just gets caught in your throat, and it's just nasty. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if I had to go for the design, I'd probably give it an eight myself. Um, you know, it's very intricate. It's very appealing. Like I said, if you're from the south, I mean, that just looks pretty cool. Uh, for when it's cold, I'll give it about four and a half, roughly. Almost meet Tyler there. It is pretty bland, kind of nutty, kind of malty. But once this thing gets warm, 
straight up zero. This is probably on, when it's warm, on par with Steel Reserve when we drank that warm. And that was god awful. Like, we literally yeah. walked away from the set. So, um, overall, I would probably give this beer. Um, let's go with a three and a half. I'd go three and a half bottle caps. I'm going to go with a four bottle caps just because of the design of the You're bottle. You're being a nice guy. Yeah, I'm being a nice guy. Wow. The design of the bottle Suck really up. just. Oh, well, sorry. <laughs> Maybe I like the bottle, thank you. Oh, I'm sorry. Girls. <laughs> um, the bottle design really catches my eye but anything else with it is why it's such a low score it's not a, it's not going above five it's staying at a four because it, it just does not make up for the taste of the beer that is true warm or cold i can agree with that so i guess i will uh, conclude this episode huh yes sir and make sure you comment like and subscribe to our youtube channel like us on facebook and like us on instagram yeah follow us on instagram uh, we're trying to get that popular as well we could definitely get your guys support that'd be awesome also don't forget to click the bell notification when you subscribe to our channel it's literally right next to it subscribe bell click that you'll be notified for every video we post up or you can be notified for every other video totally up to you guys we appreciate if you guys you know reached out and did all this um but until next time i'm heath i'm tyler and this has been two dudes for reviews, reviews. Whoops. <laughs>